was also night. Today is December 6, 2012. I'm Lina Jin. Uh, it's our great honor to invite Professor Genji Shimada to an APACIPA interview. Uh, welcome, Professor. Thank you, Lina. Uh, yeah, Professor. Uh, uh, some people say that 3D printing will change people's life a lot in the near future and will be the next industrial revolution. How do you think 3D printing will affect everyday life? Well, 3D printing is a very interesting technology. Uh, it has been actually going on for 30 years of development. And now we can print uh, ceramic, polymer, and uh, metal, and other different substances too. So what is interesting is uh, it can be printed, well, first of all, um, for uh, those of you who are not familiar with this, prints three-dimensional object layer by layer, unlike the conventional uh, machining process where you start from a chunk and take out the material. So this uh, layer by layer process can be very fast. Yeah. That's one advantage. And the second advantage is it can be highly customizable. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you know, think about the extreme case, you can print a pill mm -hmm. uh, with a different substances if I have a headache, um, I can print a pill that has a headache medicine outside and then after a couple of hours I'm going to go to bed. So sleeping pill inside, you can customize this pill and print it. So this customizability uh, is very exciting. And does it change your life? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, in the long run, um, in many ways, for example, uh, our kids can print their own toys. I can print my car parts. Yeah. Maybe my, my wife can uh, print the food. Yeah. There are actually a group of researchers um, printing food with different uh, nutritious elements. Yes. So maybe that might, that might be the future. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yes. Um, currently, we have the robot assistant surgery. And uh, in the sci fi, they have fully robotic surgeons. Um, do you think robots can fully replace the humans in this field? Or there will always be a human supervisor in the operation room? Okay, can robots replace human? To operate <laughs> I, uh, I don't think that will happen anytime soon. And I don't know if <laughs> I want to be operated by a fully automated robot. Automation is wonderful in factory, yeah. but in operating room, the difference is uh, I walk in with a broken uh, arm uh -huh. and I want the doctor to understand my condition. Yes. And it's different from other patients. Yeah. Uh, so, this kind of patient specific, um, specific aspect of the patients. It's very important, and I don't think uh, our computer system or robots is fully developed to take uh, consideration of individual differences. So until our computers and robots are so advanced yeah. <laughs> to understand each uh, patient's need, I don't think uh, fully automatic robotic surgery will happen. Uh -huh. I think it will take a long time. Yes, yes, a long time. And Professor, Currently, most of the research topics are interdisciplinary. Uh, for example, geometric modeling is mixed with mathematics, computer science, biomedical, signal processing, and so on. And uh, uh, it is not very easy to study so many different things at once. And uh, as a professor, how did you arrange your time to acquire knowledge of so many different areas? Could you please give some advice to PhD students? on how efficiently runs their time when doing multidiscipline research studies. Well, Nina, you're absolutely right. Uh, many of the exciting research topics are interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary, and for everyone, including myself, it is a struggle to learn uh, emerging new uh, topics. So, I don't have a magic formula, but uh, I would suggest um, using technology there are a lot of uh, useful online video materials, uh, reading materials, and the good thing about those uh, multimedia material is that um, you can achieve
adjusted the size of the information. You can take a one sentence description of a new concept, or you can take a decide to read one paragraph or one page or the entire book. Yeah. And the video goes the same way. Right? You can just take a, a three minute video clip to understand the new concept. Uh, you can choose to take a whole online two hour lectures. Yeah. And it's up to you, and you can uh, customize your time, schedule, and that's something I couldn't do before when I tried to learn new material.